Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to modify the frame a little bit further. This is the Beretta 92 FS frame that I've modified to the Vertac grip, removing the bump in the back. Now what I want to do is remove the uh, kind of downward slope uh, of the very edge of the beaver tail so that the beaver tail basically goes up and then continues to round up without drooping down which it does right now. I'm going to go ahead and just round this area uh, up towards the top of the frame. Flat file and all I'm going to do is file just the back, the very back bottom of the beaver tail. As you can see I'm starting with a flat surface on the very uh, edge, bottom edge of the beaver tail. Just trying to get rid of that uh, bottom droop and then I started working on the sides and <clears throat> after that I um, started rounding and reshaping it uh, just so that the very rear of the beaver tail doesn't kick back down that it continues to go up uh, or at least staying flat um, and then goes up so right now I'm just blending what I've done to the existing shape and then I will round uh, the very edge uh, the new edge that I've created because it, it was kind of sharp so <clears throat> that edge is going to be rounded and after that I'm just going to send it by hand without using any backers um, you can see that right now I'm just sending with 220 grit and a little bit later you'll see me sending everything down with uh, 320 the most important thing here was to remove all the filing marks which I think I've done pretty well and here I'm paying more attention to the edge as you can see trying to uh, round it off or round it upward rather uh, and blend it into the very rear of the beaver tail making it look like that's how it was supposed to be done this is 320 grit now so you'll see that uh, the sending results in finer um, scratch marks and at this point the shaping process is done so I'm just cleaning up and now I'll just use a little bit of steel wool just to clean up And that's about it. I like the shape. The shape looks good. Here's the original shape. You can see that the beaver tail droops down um, towards the rear. Here's the new shape. You can see that that uh, curvature is now gone and it's slightly different. Just another perspective or from the other side. And here are two pictures of the condition of the surface. So this frame is ready to go to HW to get re-anodizing. And we'll see how it looks when it comes back towards the end of the month.